when I do a picture this big, it'll be where I can just kind of glance at it while I'm going about my daily business. On a recent afternoon, artist Scott Bennett discussed his work with several admirers. I basically wanted to see what it would look like to do a starburst pattern from a center of a page. These are both roughly about two years old. Across the room, artist Kitty Zen held fans in thrall. This is kind of what energizes me, what makes me feel more tuned in and receptive is, you know, more vibrance. The art in this pop-up gallery in Cambridge, Massachusetts is notable for several reasons. All of it has passed the Is It Art test by a trio of curators. Next, it's priced right. $75 for a print to thousands for an original. And oh yes, each artist is either homeless or disabled. When this opened up and you came in and you saw your stuff up on the wall, what was it like? It was especially shocking for me when I came in. I walked in and I see this banner with a picture of myself and a little bio and it's the first thing I see when I walk in the door and I was just like awestruck. Kitty Zen has been homeless since high school. She's battled depression, anxiety and alcohol abuse. She used to sell her art from a blanket in Boston Common. You're not on the blanket anymore. No. <laughs> the art speaks volumes, giving voice to a choir of contributors whose work would otherwise go unnoticed. Were this simply an altruistic enterprise, it would be impressive enough. But it's more than that. Is this charity or is this art? It is definitely not charity. And that's something we are very clear about. Liz Powers is the CEO and founder of Art Lifting. One of our goals is to reinvent social enterprise and create jobs instead of creating handouts, because that's the ultimate dignity. Powers started working with the homeless when she was an undergrad at Harvard. Of all the people you met then in nine years of working with homeless people, mm -hmm. what do they have in common? Bad luck um, and a lot of positive energy. I think my main goal is to give people their first break because they haven't had a break. A number of shelters offer art therapy. What Liz saw inspired an idea. Market the art like a real business. Split the proceeds with the artist just like a gallery. Scott Bennett used to camp beneath the bushes at the Quincy train station. He found his way into a shelter where someone told him about Liz. Drawing since he was a kid, art was about all he had left. What do you think of Liz? One time I joked with her and I said, is it possible to have a fairy godmother who's half your age? <laughs> Scott has housing now and hope for the future. And art lifting is up and running in eight cities with more to come. When Scott was talking earlier, I felt like I was going to start crying. Because um, we, <laughs> um, we just started this with a very simple idea of let's focus on people's talents. And seeing where it's taken off has been pretty incredible. The biggest thing is just taking a step back and like realizing the talents in everyone around us and that everyone can contribute because uh, I think that's often ignored. Yeah.